Good morning and welcome to Down the Vent. My name is Joe, and today we're going to be finishing painting the worm from Terror Below. Um, it's mostly done being painted, except for we have like these uh, mandibles up here, and I got to touch up his legs and then uh, paint the little claws on the end of his legs as well. So that's not going to take an hour, and usually I like to spend about an hour with you guys on Sunday morning. So, um, what I'm also going to do is actually do a little bit of basing on this. And one thing I did do beforehand was I took my little drill that I have, a little like plastic miniatures drill. Um, I'll grab it for you and show you actually here in a second. I drill a little hole in the base right there um, because I'm going to put some different things on here. So this is just regular like play sand I got from the store. So I want to put a little sand on the base just using glue. Um, I also have like a little tree I want to put. That's why I drilled the hole so this tree can go in the base and hopefully stay better. Um, and I'll show you where I got this tree as well because again I do stuff on the cheap. And then I got these little um, mountain tufts from Army Painter. This is the only like one of the few things besides like Citadel paint uh, shades that I actually buy from like a hobby market type thing. Like because like all my paints are like the craft store paints, cheap stuff. Um, and I try to be as cheap as I can because, you know, this is just a hobby. Um, and why not be thrifty if you can? But um, these are really nice. It was $8 and you get 77 tufts. So this wasn't that bad of a deal. I think I just picked this up off Amazon. So even that, these go a long ways. As you can see, I've, I've used two because I don't base or do the bases on a lot of these figures um, that I paint. Uh, let me show you the drill here. So, uh, grab this over here. I believe this drill was only like five, six bucks as well on Amazon. And it's just, just a little drill like this. And you simply just put it down on the base and spin. You can hold the top because the top doesn't, sp it spins separately. Pretty nice. And it came with a bunch of drill bits of uh, different sizes and things like that. So, uh, let me put this back away. All right. And I gotta grab two more things before we get going here because I forgot to grab them earlier. Some super glue and some Elmer's glue for the tree in the sand. Okay, okay. <clears throat> I believe that should have us ready to go. So, um, first up, I'm going to put some paint on the mandibles because um, I haven't put any on there yet. They're still just primed. <clears throat> and I was going with this antique white. <clears throat> Because I don't think they should be bright white. Maybe they should. Maybe they'd be more, like, it would just show more contrast if I did the bright white instead of just normal white. So let's try that, actually. Um, I also got shades in here now, or some curtains, some blackout curtains, so the sun won't be pouring through, messing up what we're doing. Um, let me find... Alright, there we go. Alright, and hopefully this view is better as well. I've moved the camera around trying to get so it's not just my hand the entire time I paint. the white more than antique white it'll make it more like I don't know we'll try it if I don't like the white after it dries maybe we'll throw some antique white over it or something
There we go. Yeah, I think I like the white. It really makes it pop, since the rest of this thing's so brown and bland. I'm trying to add some color where I can, some brightness. And the teeth seem like a good spot to stick out as well. I think these are teeth as well in the middle, so I'm going to try and get those as well here but I might do like a, a dry brush to hit the teeth inside the mouth since they're all tiny we'll see that might be the lazy way to do it the better way might be to actually paint each one individually there's only like a hundred of them nah I don't think so Yeah, that looks pretty cool with the white. Now it's starting to dry. If you're watching this on YouTube, um, I do these painting sessions live every Sunday on Twitch at 9 a.m. Eastern Time, which is super early, I know. But uh, it's like some of the free time I have where no one's really home, so I can just chill out, focus on my minis. Also, looking for suggestions on what I should paint next, so. Um, I have, I can paint more of the Nickelodeon Splat Attack minis, because um, I have a ton of those. Or um, I was thinking about, because it's almost Halloween, starting to paint my Monster Slaughter board game. Or maybe Horrified, because there's not many miniatures in Horrified. Hmm. Let me see, where's my tweezers at? There's something on this. I don't know if it's paint clobbed up. Nope, that's a piece of plastic. Alright, I think we're going to turn that into a piece of dirt. Because that doesn't look like a tooth. One of his teeth things. So maybe he's got some dirt stuck in his teeth.
go. Okay, um, I need to put another coat on his legs because there's a lot of spots for showing through. So let's do that. Once I get these legs covered with this um, chocolate bar brown, I think I'm going to do a black wash on them to make them extra dark. And there are, there's a little bit, like there's like little, I don't know what they're called on bugs, but like knuckles of the of the things, of the little legs. Um, so like maybe that'll make those pop out a little bit more. And again, with this all being brown, looking for any something to just make it a little bit different so it sticks out a little bit better Side legs done. Let's do this side.
weird, my chat's not working on my... Try to reopen it here. There we go. Okay. Don't know why my chat stopped working on here. Okay. Oh, missed a couple spots on the outside of his legs. Let's get those real quick. Alright, so now I'm going to try and do a little bit of dry brushing on the inside of his mouth to get those teeth. So, uh, the best brushes for these are these like flat brushes. Um, and then to dry brush, you're just going to take a tiny bit of paint on the brush. Just, just a little bit like this. You're going to take a paper towel and you're going to wipe off as much as you can. And then I like to actually wipe it on my hand because white on the paper towel is hard to see. I think I may have wiped off all of it. Hold on here. And as you can see, now it's just barely starting to pull the highlights like in my skin. And then that should be good so you can actually go in now and when you hit the mini with that, it's only going to hit the top part, whatever sticks up. And not all the other stuff, so this brush is like sucking up the paint or something weird. There we go. I know it's hard to see, but if you look inside the mouth now, you can see that the teeth are starting to get a little bit of white on them. Starting to pop a little bit. Maybe I'll put that a little bit closer if they'll get bigger here, but um, that's the idea is that it hits just the highlights. So yeah, you can you can see that how it's kinda of got the white in there. It's a little hard to see, but I'm gonna do a little bit more of it here.
There we go. Done. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. Alright, so I'm going to let this dry off because I'm going to do some more dry brushing on his back, which will be really cool. I think that's going to be fun. I'm thinking they're doing different metallic shades. We'll see, though, what I come up with. Um, Alright, so while that is sitting, we can put another... Well, well I guess everything... Well, the legs are drying, I guess is the one thing we're waiting on. We can put another coat of white on the mandibles. So just do that. I'm going to change brushes because I did not like that brush I was using. This brush was really like soft and this one's more sturdy so like I, I, I can tell where the paint's going to go or with a soft brush it could kind of go just wherever because the brush the bristles are so soft they don't hold in the a certain shape this one good and I want to try and Paint these. Actually, I should do the dry brush on those. That didn't work very well. Yeah, that's not working. So, scrap that. Not dry brushing that area. Just be painting it and look normal. Yeah, let's paint that all white. I like that idea now.
I'll put a wash on them. Make them look dirty. Since it looks like his. Now, while that dries, I'm going to take this metallic antique gold paint, and I'm going to hit his back. See how his back has all these scales and stuff? I'm going to hit some of those.
so it's probably really hard to see on camera but the entire back one now has like kind of this golden sheen to it Instead of just being boring brown, looks kind of cool. All right, so now that we're done with that, what's next? Okay, so I got to paint his little toenail. So let's do that. And then once we're done with that, we're gonna do the base in here. So, oh crud! I forgot I was gonna wash these. Do I need to do a wash? Let me try one, see what it looks like. Do a dark wash with uh, Citadel new on new uh, Noln uh, oil. Noln. Let's try one up here. I don't know, that doesn't really do anything for it. It's so dark already. out in there. Whoops. Couple touch-ups to make.
Okay, I think that looks pretty cool. <clears throat> okay, let's get the other side. And then we'll get to basing, which is going to be fun.
these tiny ones here. Oh, two of them came off. Stuck together. There we go. Alright. So where should we put one of these? There's a tree going to be right there. Should there be one at the base of the tree, maybe? I think I'm going to put one of these on his back. I think that'd be kind of funny. Like, he got stuck to the one of the pieces of rock on his back. Okay, got some... A little bit of super glue on there. Okay, got too much stuff in my way here. Here we go. Maybe I'll put a bigger one. Like on this part of the base here. dab of glue into this little hole that I drilled earlier. Take this little tree. And oh yeah, I forgot to show you guys what I made this how I got this tree. So I'll I'll show you that as well. Put that in there. Give it a minute to dry I'll have to hold it it looks like. So let me grab that real quick while that's drying. Okay, so this is from the dollar store near us. This is sp <laughs> Spanish moss, and I just grabbed a little bit of it. Oops, can you even see that? There you go, Spanish moss. So this is a dollar, and it's this giant bag, and um, I just grabbed some out of there, and it looks like un little dead trees. So, pretty cool looking. Um, I want to add a tuft next to the tree as well. enough. It's a pretty small base. I don't want to overload it. Now we'll let those dry for a minute here. Um, what I'm going to start doing though is getting my Elmer's glue out. If this isn't dry. Nope, it's good. Alright, I want to use a really old brush here. <clears throat> Get some on there. Just a little bit on there. Move some of the stuff out of the way. I'm done with these. I'm gonna paint on some of this Elmer glue around the edges and whatnot. Around the outside of where there's like broken rocks and stuff or dried up dirt. Some in the crevice here, that'd be good. Okay, so we got some glue on there. So now what I'm going to do is take some sand, hopefully you guys can see this, put a bunch of sand on here, I'm 
This is just, again, play sand from our local hardware store. Nothing crazy. Alright, so we've got a bunch on there, so I'm going to go ahead and knock it off. See what sticks here. Oh man, I'm going to wreck, wreck the tree. So that's pretty good. I'm going to put some around this tree because I forgot to do that earlier. Build up. Make it look like it's built up there. And I missed this side as well. desert-looking base. I think I might put a little bit more over here. It's kind of thin. Kind of just looks like silly. So I'll add a little bit more. Maybe put some in this crevice here next to the worm. this plate of sand out of the way. And there we have our worm on his new base. He's got his tree. And I'm just gonna do some final touch-ups here with that the brown on his legs. Let me start at this angle I guess. It's kind of angled with the camera then instead of at a downward. Okay. So let's do the final touch ups and be done.
Wait, I gotta repaint this top one, don't I? Duh. I was missing something. Why do we keep falling over now? There we go. Okay. And let's do a little bit of wash here. A little bit of wash. This part up here. And another wash in his mouth to cover up any white that went off his teeth. And let's just look some make them look dirty. I mean he is eating dirt and stuff, I'm assuming, so I think that's pretty good. I think we're gonna call it good before we add too much. My hands are covered in paint, so um that is the worm from Terror Below. All done. get some pictures up on Instagram as well and then hopefully you'll be able to see this in action when we play this game soon so uh, that's gonna be it for me today though um, glad I was able to finish this up here in the hour like I thought it was so until next time though um, thanks for hanging out don't forget to share like subscribe and uh, you've been watching down the vent. Until, see you later.